Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be exploring the University of South Carolina Libraries databases. So let's go ahead and dive in. You'll want to use the databases when you are looking for research on a topic. Now, the databases contain all kinds of material, from ebooks to peer reviewed journal articles to news, video, and book reviews. So there's a lot of options when you dive into the databases. So let's go ahead and click on the link. When you first land on this page, you'll be brought to our A to Z database listings. We have over 400 databases here to help you find the information that you need. When you first land on this page, you'll notice our popular databases. These are the databases that are most recommended by our librarians and most used by the University of South Carolina community. You might already be familiar with some of the names here. And if that's one of the databases you want to access, you'll just click on the link. We also do new databases and trial databases, so you can always scroll down here to see what we're trying and what new databases we have. So I'm going to go back up to the top. So there's a couple of really cool features that you might want to explore when you are on the databases homepage. If you know the name of the database you're wanting to access, like Academic Search Complete, you can just type it in, hit enter, and your database will pop up. Now, when using this feature, you'll want to make sure you know the name of your database exactly because it needs to have the exact title to show up. So now I'm going to clear these filters. Another popular way to look through the databases is to go explore by subject. So this is really helpful when you are in a discipline specific class. So say that you are taking an education course, you could click on these education resources and you're going to see listed your top databases. So once again, that's ones most used in the field and most recommended by our librarians. After the top databases, you're going to see the databases listed in alphabetical order. Something else that's really handy on this page is you can see your library liaison, you can make an appointment with her, and even check out some of her research guides. So this is a really great place to look when you are exploring a subject discipline. So let's go ahead and click up. So say this didn't have exactly what you're looking for. You'll just clear these filters and try another subject. So if you are in Library and Information Science, you would just click this link and you're gonna have some of the same information here, the librarians that support this unit, as well as the research guides. But let's go ahead and click on these top databases. So when you're off campus, you're going to be prompted to log in via the proxy. It's super easy, don't let it hold you back. Click log in here and then type in your username and password. So this is your network username and password. It's going to be the same thing as the first half of your email. Just leave off everything from the app onward and the same password and click log in. And now you have access to the database. Pretty cool, huh? So let's go back to these um, database listings and talk about some more ways you can use the databases page. I'm gonna go ahead and clear these filters again. And something that people love to do is also search the databases by content type. This is really handy if you are looking for primary sources. You could just click on this link and you have a list of all of the databases that contain primary sources. So big tip is to go ahead, of course, read the name of the database, but also read this paragraph here that tells you a bit about what is in the database. This is going to be really important when you are doing primary research because you probably need to be finding research from a certain time period. And you're going to see in some of these databases just by their title, they give you the time period, but it's also down 
within the description of the databases. So we're going to clear this one more time. And our last option is one that most people won't really use, but it is something that comes up in specific fields such as information science. You may have noticed that our databases look different depending on who is providing us access. And that's because we have a variety of vendors that provide us access to these incredible resources. So if you ever need to look specifically to see how many databases we have by different vendors or providers, you can click on this link. A lot of people are familiar with the EBSCO vendor. That's the same one that we use with Academic Search Complete. So these are all of our EBSCO databases. Notice they all have different names, but they're just provided through the same vendor. And of course, if you have any questions while you're searching the databases, you can always connect with a librarian with this Ask a Librarian button. I hope you have a great day!